Hey y'all, we're back with another video. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so today it's a little different. I'm gonna um, give you some behind the scenes footage of how I do my maternity milk bath shoots. Yeah, girl, I take pictures. Woo! So this is my second uh, maternity uh, milk bath shoot. The first one went very well. Uh, I am excited about this one because my client chose sunflowers. So, if you know me, you know I got a sweet spot for sunflowers, so I'm very excited. Um, it's 1.45, so she is going to be here at 2.30. So, I'm making sure I have everything set up for the shoot. So, stay tuned. Yeah, girl. It's my bathroom or whatever. This is where the magic is going to take place. So yeah, I got everything all cleaned up because, you know, everybody likes in a dirty bathroom, especially when you have a freaking photo shoot. <laughs> so yeah, this is my tub. It's pretty nice. Oh shoot, I can't, I can't walk. All right, it's a pretty nice tub. It's pretty spacious. So we're gonna put flowers all around that. Put some milk in the bath. Um, take that towel down. So yeah, it's gonna be nice. Materials that are essential for this shoot. Uh, of course, the milk. Uh, last time we used about two, we well we used two whole gallons which was perfect it clouded the water perfectly so we got two gallons uh, a step stool because I got to get those angles y'all um, a towel for my client to dry off and we got our soft box of lights video the shoot. This is my old tripod, which I literally just broke. And then I thought about it and I was like, wait a minute. I got one that I hadn't even opened yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you see this one and this is what the new one looks like. It's definitely, definitely better quality. Look at it. <laughs> it's big. Now this way it gets tall. Don't, don't, you know, don't let the size fool you. It does get taller. And it did the job, but you know, I mean, look at this <laughs> and look what it does. It has this little handle, which makes it taller and shorter. Yes, girl. All right. And of course, I mean, we can't do this without a camera. This is my Nikon D3500. Um, it's a pretty good DSLR camera. Um, right now it doesn't have a lens on it, but I'm gonna use this lens for today's shoot. Um, I have two other lenses. One is like for a long range shot and the other one has like good, well just that good background blurring capabilities. So yeah, this is the camera that we'll be using today. All right, so here I am just setting up uh, my lighting. Uh, I do need an extension cord because the cords to the boxes aren't that long. So I'm just gonna set one up here in the corner near the toilet room. And then another, I'm gonna set that thing on the counter. So it gives us plenty of light and you'll see the difference the lighting makes. All right, so before my client gets here, you know, I got to do a couple of test shots. Make sure I got this light right. Um, make sure I got my angles right. So, yeah, we got to know what we're what we doing when she gets here. Yeah, I don't recommend standing on the tub. I'm just doing this for right now because I do have a step stool like I showed y'all. So, yeah. All right, so my client, she just got here. Um, she did bring her own flowers. Um, now these are clearly fake um, sunflowers. Um, they are nice. However, I would recommend in the future to get real flowers because these were the small ones. They're a pain like to get them to float. I had to like disassemble like pieces of it to make it float. So. Yeah, real flowers, they float with no problem, but these were pretty, and I like the way the shoot turned out. So 
So yeah, that bag sitting on the counter is the smaller ones that I'm going to put in the tub once she gets in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring my milk. Um, I just pour it like um, a whole gallon. Um, I will probably just go ahead and pour. Yeah, I'm going to pour both gallons. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you pour in the, the milk, whether it's like full or halfway or if you pour the milk in first. Um, there will be a little bit of foam at the top, but it does go away. Yeah, and those flowers on the left side, they kind of kept falling, so I did end up taping them to the tub. So yeah, these are the final photos. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.